Okay, here's a little update on my bullet journal. Um, someone had asked how, well, first let me, let me back up. I do a very, very simplified bullet journaling. It's nothing that you see that's, um, some, some people have made, you know, did it a little more complicated. I do it very simplified, very little bit of decorating. Just when I have time, which is not often. And I wanted to, well, let me get back to my, my um, index. See, my index is very simplified. I have the months through December, but I just have the the page numbers as we go. And these are my to-do lists. Most of my bullet journal is to-do lists, but I have those the months. And I have a wish list, and I'm, you know, of course I have room to grow, but these are the ones I have just so far. And then I have a section for weight, and then my chart, which I'm using it a little bit, but not as much. I have a section for family. Meal plan goes under that. Meal planning could also go under weight, but I put it under family. And, of course, there's room to grow with that, too. Um, and then I have foster care. Now, I don't put anything in here for foster care, really. I had a little bit of WIC stuff, but it's not a permanent fixture in there. It's just like I'm safe, safety pinned. It's just paper clipped to it. Okay, and as you can see, it, like I said, it's very simple. Okay, so we are the last couple of days. Um, usually I do this in orange, but I didn't have my orange pen handy. <laughs> but I put a check when, it, when I've completed it. An arrow, which it's hard to see that that is an arrow, when I need to bring it to another day. Check, 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 and a C for continuing. It's like I'm working on our bedroom organization, and it's an ongoing thing, so I just put a C. If I didn't do anything in there at all, I'd probably put an uh, an arrow, meaning it's going to another day. And if I decide I'm not going to do it at all, or if it's just not working out, I'll put an X. For example, Blondie's doctor's appointment, I had the wrong day, so I put an X in it. And I just put Luca there because that's, you know, if he's going to be here. I work on bedroom. I'm continuing with it. Work in craft room. An arrow. Sometimes I put that on the every day until I do it. Sometimes I just give up on it and save it for another time. If it's not that important. Okay. So we'll go to, this is tomorrow. Or whenever you watch this, this was the day after the day I'm filming this. <laughs> I just have, um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Work, okay, that's the continuing, the one with the C, which is continuing. And I think work in craft room. That was one that I had a arrow. Okay, now I do use numbers on my pages. Not all of them are numbered, but um, I use that just for the index, which I don't really go to when I'm looking for something, but I go just flip through because I, I'll show you that. Well, let me before I go on, I want to show you this is just something that is moves throughout the. It's a master list, and of course it's from July, but it's some things on here I still haven't done because they weren't important. Like my scrapbook room, a lot of things that I started doing in there were put on hold. And um, even though I finished the room, it's kind of messy again. We are deciding to do something else in there and move my room to a completely different space. And so anyway, so that's that. And then some schedules for like jamboree and stuff. It's just stuff I move from week from um, week to week. Okay. And like I said, I don't really use the whoops, the numbers there to find what I'm looking for. I just flip through it because I have it, um, like for example, my wish list, I can find it easily because I put washi on the edge. So see, I can see it. Okay. So I just have, you know, some random wish lists. Books I want to read, um, random things, and I need to go through and mark what I have. And then for my craft room, and then, of course, moving, oops, moving forward, we come to family. 
And I have quotes on most of these too. Let you see that. Okay. So I know some people may ask. And then I have some, I'm still working on my meal planning. I'm just going to write down all of our favorite meals and the ingredients I will need. So, you know, if I'm doing my grocery list, I, if, and I can't think of what all we usually like with chicken leg quarters, which I, it's not that hard because we have very simple meals, I'll um, come to this page and see what we usually like to have with it. Okay, and then this is weight. I don't have anything on this page, but I do have my, I don't want to see my weight, I do have my chart here. <laughs> okay. Then I have a little journaling about my weight. Let's see. And then we have foster care. And like I said, I don't put really anything in there, but there are some there are some wick things. Hope I didn't show too much of that. Okay, and then this has a little um pocket in, in here. I'll do another video on that. Is my project life. Some things I need to do. Well, it's in there. Where'd it go? Anyway, that's, I keep my Project Life um, little book in there. And I have that separate just because there's not really space for it in here. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to you.